Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Divine Destiny Guide. How are you? Seasons greetings. I pray you're doing well wherever you are. God is for you. Because he's for you, who can be against you? You are blessed and highly favored. You are protected. You are covered under the blood, the wings of the Almighty. So if this is your first time, I welcome you. Returning soul tribers, new soul tribers, thank you so very much for your continuous love and your support. I truly appreciate you. Thank you for the likes, the comments, the shares. I really do appreciate it. And I am grateful, grateful, grateful with all of my heart. So as I shuffled and I stopped when divine said to stop it says you are enough somebody needs to know this you are enough it doesn't matter what society says it doesn't matter even how you're feeling sometimes you have to rise above the feeling and believe in yourself know your worth that you are enough you are enough. You are enough for that job. You are enough for that relationship, that partnership. You have nothing to prove to anybody. You don't need to do any backflips. You are enough because God says you are enough. He put everything that you need in this life to carry you through. So you are enough. Now, there are people who may want you to be alone. So they want you to be alone. But Spirit says you're not alone. You are not alone. Of course you're not alone. God is with you. He's with you. He's for you. Divine is saying at this time, protect your relationship. You are enough. So you may have people around you who may want to compare and contrast or prove to somebody as if that person does not have everything you need, everything you want. You know, like, pick me, pick me, I'm, I'm the better one. But Divine is saying you are enough, you need to believe that. If you have a relationship, you need to protect that. Don't complain to people about your problem, because again, some people are happy that you have problems. Some people are more than willing to give you bad advice. Uh, for example, you may be in a connection, a relationship. You went to seek advice from a friend or family member. Now, if that friend or family member does not like the person you are with or who you're dating or considering to date, of course, they're going to give you bad advice. So it's important to use wisdom in your connections, your partnerships as well. Some of you may have or you are dealing with a, a toxic partnership right now and they want you to be alone. Wow. Spirit is saying you're not alone. Even though you may feel like an outcast for a lot of you, Spirit is saying you are not alone. You are not alone. You're not alone. On this side, it says don't settle. Don't settle for some of you. Even if you're single, don't just run out there to get a bad option, you know, like a piece of man, a piece of woman. It's like you're more than that. Spirit is saying you are enough. You are enough. So, again, take your power back, knowing yourself, knowing your worth. Black sheep is not so black after all. You're realizing you are the chosen one. You're not alone. Spirit is with you. God is, God is with you from the beginning. This is why he protected you all the way. Because your life was not easy. It is still not easy. You still have challenges. A lot of oppositions. A lot of fights. You have, you have a lot of blessings as well. But it also comes with a lot of burdens too. For some of you, you may be dealing with people who in the past have interfered in your relationships. Friends or family 
interfered in your relationship or interfered with your relationship. And no wonder we are told here to protect your relationship. Again, you don't know that these people have other ulterior motives. And so they will, you know, direct you, lead you down the wrong path. Or maybe they have done this. Maybe some of you experience this. They interfered in your past relationships or even now. So again, this is why it's important to protect, cover, cherish whatever you love. Because some people love to, to dampen, to put out a good thing. So it's important to use wisdom. Some of you, evil family members. And again, families could be related by blood or they could be because of your closeness. You consider these people to be families, but again, they do not like you. They do not like you and they're evil. They want you to be alone. And this family could be an ex who is a toxic person. Again, they're up to no good. They don't have the best intentions for you. But Spirit is saying, they will watch you rise. They will watch you rise. They will watch you rise. It doesn't matter what the enemy says. It's like, whose report do you believe? And Divine is saying, they will watch you rise. They will watch you rise. So you may feel as if you're not enough because you may be feeling broken, shattered. Whatever the breakups, whatever the sadness that happen in your life you're feeling broken and so because people interfered meddled in your life people want you to feel as if you are not enough and that may be interfered interfering with your self-esteem or your self-confidence right now but you are enough whose report do you believe it is not what they call you but is what you answer to beginnings try again new direction start over absolutely new beginnings dust yourself off and try again i think that's alia yeah new beginnings they want you to be alone but again whose report do you believe god is saying you will have a new start you will get an opportunity to start over. See, sometimes we cry because of what we lost, because we don't know why we lose it. But God knows everything best. We don't know what God saved us from. We were not in the rooms or wherever those conversations were held to know that what the enemy was planning against us. And, be, and especially as a black sheep, a chosen one, God takes care of you. So maybe this message is also comforting as we again get to the end of this year in letting you know that you did not lose anything. This is an opportunity for you to have a fresh start, a do-over. Take a new opportunity. Rejection is redirection. Rejection is new direction. Rejection is your protection. So even if your, your relationship was interfered with by families or friends, maybe there will be an opportunity for you to have a start over with that person. Maybe if that person took their advice, it was meant to be. Because that person was not strong enough to be with you. You want somebody who will protect you. Who will not just fall for the first gossip news that they heard. It's like they were much too happy to hear something bad. So pretty much they helped the enemy to rejoice. So let them go. Let them go. Either way, you're going to have a new start. You're going to have a new start. It says here, cloudy judgment. Illusions and balance distorted. So... You are not alone. So your judgment may be cloudy right now because it's like you don't see how this thing, this way is going to be made open for you. It's like you don't see how God is working in the background. You don't have the answer or answers to what's up ahead. And so 
Of course, it's stressful when the enemy is whispering lies to you that you are not enough, making it seem as if you are the problem with a heartbreak there and feeling shattered and destroyed. Spirit is saying, you are not alone. You are not alone. You are not alone. So maybe somebody is going to come in to confess something. But either way, you're going to have clarity. You are going to gain clarity. Maybe this is your clarity that you're getting right now. As to what happened in your life. And how to maneuver differently. In the future, protect your relationship. But maybe some there will be something coming clean to you. You'll be getting some information as to what happened. What was working in the background. Wow. Well, mm -hmm. So this toxic partner may want you to chase them. Again, toxic over tox toxicity over toxic partner. Spirit is saying you are resilient. You don't chase. No runner, no chaser. Love does not hurt. And so a lot of these people, when they are men or women, when they are in that king of our, our knight of wands where they come in flighty, they are players. They want you to chase them. That's what they're used to. You're a black sheep. You're from a whole different tribe. You're a high-valued man or woman. You're a divine masculine or feminine. There is no chasing here. No runner chaser. And you're coming to this realization now. This understanding. Look at that. This awakening. This clarity. The light. Is like this, this light bulb moment where it's like, ta-da! You are the prize. You are the gift. You know your worth. Yeah, these, these toxic friends or families who interfered in your relationship, they wanted you to be in an emotional storm. Turmoil, unstable, affected. Some of these people, they were hoping that you would go crazy. They were planning on your downfall. This is what they wanted. Because they thought that if the person you like or you love was to leave you or not come in your life, that would really topple you. For some of you, maybe for a little while you were down, but you're certainly not out. You're not out. A lot of these evil family members, they are watching you. They are spying. A lot of them, they're trying to hold on to the memories. They are missing you, actually. This toxic ex that you may have or partner, they're obsessive over you. They're watching. They're stalking. Wow, see, another obsession. Yeah, these people, they're going to be obsessed. And this is over the card that says they will watch your eyes. They will watch your eyes. And they're going, this is like their karma to watch you. To be stuck in, in infatuation, adoration, they're going to be addicted. Because, see, they wanted you to chase. And then you're like, for what? For who? Are you kidding me? Wow, a lot of the things that are happening in your life, it's like past, past life. It's almost as if a lot of you, these people that you're encountering or you've encountered... Is like you've met them before. It is all too familiar. You're having deja vus. It's like repeated patterns. These are karmic lessons that you are closing out these chapters here. So it's like it had to happen. It had to happen. You're closing out these cycles. This is like confirmation. You're closing out these karmic cycles here wow hmm. spirit is saying do not settle yeah it was written in the stars 
It was written in the stars. I'm telling you, they will watch your eyes. Just do not settle. Don't go back. These people are going to be in deep regrets. The stone that the builder rejected became the main cornerstone here. And some of you, you may be praying. This is your confirmation. It says, yes. Divine is saying, remain positive. Remain positive. Your attitude determines your altitude. And I know it's easier said than done sometimes. But again, you have to rise to the occasion. Rise to the occasion. You're high vibrational. So you have to stay there. Encourage yourself. Remember, you are enough. Even though some people want you to be alone. So this toxic karmic person could be in the background trying to create blockages in your love life because they want you to be alone because this is a player. This is somebody, whether male or female, who wants to have you sitting there waiting until they come back. They want you to chase them. That's the kind of low-hanging fruit they like to have. But no, you are a divine man or woman. You are an empress, an emperor. And now because you don't chase, because these toxic and evil family members and friends who have interrupted or interfered with your relationship, maybe this one, maybe another one, you're getting clarity on this right now. And a lot of these people, they will have to watch you. They will watch you rise. This is their karma. They're going to want to come back. They're clinging. They're stalking. They're watching. They're spying. But Spirit is saying you are enough. A lot of these people, they wanted you to be in emotional storm. Again, this is why I said love, 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 love should not hurt. And they want to see you hurt. This is why they're evil. This is why they interfered with your connection. Abundance. Yes, it is your birthright. Wow. Spirit is saying, do not stop. Don't stop. It's like, don't stop. Get it. Get it. Do not stop. It's like the trumpet is blown here. See with the background with the halo and the rainbow that is hope. Do not give up. Remain positive. As long as you have life. There is an opportunity. I love it. I love it. Some of you, you are asked to meditate. Meditation brings answers. And it is funny enough that this other deck, the other side, the card, it says meditate, pray, go within. Meditate, pray, go within. This is awesome. I love this for you. I love it for us. You are enough. Whose report do you believe? Stay positive. Remain positive. God is for you. You did not lose anything. We saw the card. It says karmic lessons. This is only a lesson. And now you live and you learn. Now you know how when you venture out in life with meeting new people, new opportunities, you know now how to master yourself, how to carry yourself. Keep people out of your life. Keep them out of your business. See, sometimes God will do this, especially people thought that this person was too good for you. And so they, they wanted you to be an emotional storm because they want you to be alone. And so they tried to intercept, again, with the chaser there with like the football player. They try to intercept to get in between you and that connection, not knowing that that was really not your divine counterpart. So aren't you happy? You should be glad that person is gone. You don't want to live with anything or anyone but the best. You should only want who and what God has for you. Nothing less, nothing more. God's will be done in your life. You are enough, my friends. Take care until next time. Keep your courage, keep your faith. You're not alone. God is for you. Who can be against you? Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.
Until next time, take care.